Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am creating a cut crease makeup tutorial. I think this look is quite dramatic, so I would recommend this for a night out. Feel free to do any lip color that you like with this look, since it's pretty neutral on the eyes. I hope this cut crease makeup tutorial is helpful for you. So if you want to know how I get this look, so please keep on watching. I'm starting off with prepping and priming my eyelids with using Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I'm applying this with my clean ring finger all over my lid. Next, I'm taking Chickadee from Makeup Geek Palette and this is going to be my transition color. I'm applying this amount generously on my lid and I'm applying this with a synthetic fluffy blending brush and as usual, blend away. And then I'm taking white lies from the same palette and applying this onto my brow bone with my Eco Tools blending brush. Next, I'm taking Coco Bear from the same palette and I'm using MAC 217 brush to load the product. At this step, you want to make sure that you are holding the brush in an upward angle, not downward. I then slowly apply this product slightly above my crease and just follow the shape of my eyes. Next, I'm taking a clean MAC 224 brush and just going to clean the excess product all over my lid so it appears nice and blended. And then I'm taking Rose from my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm applying this onto my lid with BH Palette Flat Shader Brush. And then I'm taking Coco Bear with BH Palette Small Tablet Shadow Blending Brush and I'm going to put this on my crease for more definition and then with same MAC 224 brush I'm just going to blend everything together. And then I'm taking Black Shadow from my Lorac 2 Pro Palette and with a small smudge brush I'm going to apply this in an upward angle and then slowly drag it upwards where you want to create that line to the first half of your lid. As you go in closer to your tear duct, you want to hold the brush slightly downward and with a light weight of touch, you are applying the product on what, whatever is left on your brush. You can stop any time where you feel the line is defined enough. It's more like a personal preference really. Then I'm taking my Sigma 357 brush and I'm going to smudge that line that I created before just a little bit. And then with the same brush, I'm going to take Coco Bear again to my lower lash line for a smoky look. I am then taking the same rose color and I'm applying this onto my tear duct. And as per usual, eyeliners off camera and then I'm applying this mascara onto my upper and lower lash line. 
think it's lower lashes, not lower line. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You know what I mean. And then next, moving on to the lashes, I picked these lashes from a Japanese beauty store in Sydney CBD in number CM408. Um, they're amazing and reusable too. And then as per usual, weighting the glue becomes slightly tacky before I can put it on. As for the lips, I choose to do pinkish nude color with a slightly touch of lip gloss later. And this one is by Tom Port in Spanish Pink. This color is really nice for a um, daily basis. And then I'm topping it off with my YSL Golden Gloss in number 3. And this is the finished look guys. Um, I actually enjoyed filming this look so much and I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe for any future videos and like or comment below. Feel free to do so. So yeah, thank you guys. See ya.